all love a trendy snack, and we've covered a lot of them from waffles to charcuterie boards. The newest trending snack, though, bronuts. We're being joined by our favorite baker, owner of Figtails Bakery, Stacy Sudkamp, and she's here to show us how we can whip up these brownie donut hybrids to scratch the snack itch when those chocolate cravings strike. Welcome, Stacy. I am so excited to be here, and I get excited anytime I can bring something that's not a cookie because it's different. I bake all sorts of things, and these have been so hot and so fun. I mean, I can see why. Look at them. Right? So let's start off by talking about first how you get the brownie in a donut shape. So a donut pan is really what you're looking for, and there's all sorts of different types. So I brought silicone pans. My absolute favorite, though, is a Nordic Ware pan. They are known for they're non-stick surfaces mm -hmm. and they're a high quality so if you compare like this Nordic Ware pan to like a regular metal pan it's got some heft to it yeah. um, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a really even bake is is what you're really looking for it's gonna help moderate that oven temperature and really make sure that that bro nut is baked all the way through so pan does matter you also brought some spray in so if you don't oh have non-stick obviously so even with the non-stick or with the silicone a spray is going to be key because there's so much surface area on a bro nut you want to make sure that the whole thing comes out um, so this spray has a flower in it the other one that you can use is um, a homemade one that's a cup of Crisco a cup of a neutral oil so canola oil um, like a sunflower oil one of those and then a cup of flour and you can mix that in like a mini chopper or just in a bowl that'll keep for probably six months and you use it you literally just wipe it onto your pan and that'll act as like a pan release so if you don't have the spray you can easily make it you know the spray really is easy though because you've got a lot of nooks and crannies right with so the you really get in there, yeah. yeah so like i made sure that the pans were sprayed from both angles because you really want to make sure that you get a donut hole right in your bro nut so you want to make sure that that spine in the center is fully covered all right so then did you just use a normal brownie recipe i did so the brownie mix that so many bakers talk about because sometimes we use mixes um is the ghirardelli chocolate brownies oh, I they are before. they are a surefire recipe easy to use easy to whip up and easy to have on hand for when those chocolate cravings strike so then once they're made and they're ready to go, obviously you could just eat it like this, but who wants to do that when you can make it more fun? Right, one of the things too that you wanna remember when you're baking is that it'll need less time in the oven than the pan of brownies. So okay. there aren't directions for those on your box. So start looking at them at about 20, 25 minutes. Okay, to make Perfect. sure that they don't overcook. Yes, and then I love a good icing. You could dip these in ganache, which is just chocolate and cream, but I like something that's a little more fun. So I use cake frosting and they're so easy to decorate you could do something as easy as like the hostess swirl and just go around and, and just let it fall and you've got a flower tip but you, yeah, could so certainly, you could certainly do the same thing or one of my favorite things to do with the flower tips see look at you i love that purple i know it's a really pretty color it's a little bit slower i feel like there and that's just go. because it takes more effort to kind of get it through those fines. The other one that you can do is you can do um, little V's with that flower all throughout your whole bro So you're just going V back and forth for like yep. flowers. And turn that little bro um, One of the th keys to get the bro out of the pan, pop them in the freezer for about 10 minutes. Oh, okay. um, the other thing too is that I'm sometimes... I will take my chubby little fingers and I will twist the bronets in the pan so that it just releases those edges and make sure that that bronet comes all the way out. If you overfill your bronets, which I happen to do in this pan here, um, they're still salvageable. They're gonna have, you can cover that up with icing. You could put frosting in there and throw some candies in there like M&Ms or a lot of decorators are putting like crushed oreos or biscoff cookies or peanut butter cups i mean the possibilities in are the endless. middle of it they're doing yeah. that mm. gourmet amping it up so is there anything you could do to the brownies too to change it up from just being like a plain brownie absolutely there's so many baked donut recipes out there so there's a bunch that have gone like the um 
lemon route, citrus, or they're using blondie recipes to make a um, blonde donut in a brownie pan. Look at so, that one. There's all sorts of ways that you can do it. Look at how much fun you're having. And so with this frosting too, obviously then it kind of gives that, it's like cake frosting, but yep. you're putting it on a brownie. But to me, if you don't like cake, brownies are more dense yes. and cake is more, how do you even, I don't know, moist? Um, or like it's got a loft to it. It's got yeah. like a crumb to it. So this would be good for people too who maybe don't like cake. Yes, and this is a great way if you're single, which a lot of us are, of making a whole batch of brownies. These freeze beautifully. You can let them freeze solid on a baking sheet and then pop them out into like a Ziploc container. Take them out when you need a little bite of chocolate. So if you are gonna do that and let it, do you let it thaw out? Do you put it in the microwave? You could totally pop it in the can? microwave. Oh yeah, that'd be delicious. The frosting this, wouldn't like melt this, off? Well, the frosting will probably melt if you frost them before you freeze them, I just throw a scoop of ice yeah. cream on there and call it good. So how about for people like me, if I make brownies, I basically like when they're really undercooked. Will they keep that donut shape if they're undercooked? So you'll want to make sure that they are um, fully cooled or chilled before you pop them out. But if you like a fudgy or brownie, the trick is to not overbake them. So you can still do that. I was worried yep. that it wouldn't. This is definitely a treat that caters towards the people that like the corners of the brownies. Yep. Because it's got a lot of that surface area and a lot of that crunch. I mean, I like the corners too, but then I love, like I could just eat the yeah. batter. A fudgy brownie. You would have loved yeah. in the kitchen when I was having all sorts of yeah. um, challenges, opportunities this morning for <laughs> making fudgy brownies. Oh, I love it. Well, this is so much fun and so easy. So thank Super you so easy. much for coming in. Thank you. Got some M&Ms on here. So Perfect. thank you so much. Oh, this looks so good. Thank you. Get started on making your bronuts over the break. We'll be right back after this.